Welcome everyone to Rare Wall Coins. This is Iron Wall Coins. Hopefully you're finding yourself, uh, you know, a great day. And if you have the time to look at the videos, I appreciate you taking a look at my videos. Um, th these videos are basically here to help teach you how to collect coins. And of course, be able to choose the right coins to see your value investment continue to increase, okay? So if you are a world coin collector or US collector, uh, please come visit uh, my uh, YouTube channel. And my objective is to get at least 1,000 YouTube videos up there to help you as a collector and for you to make good money or choose wisely coins from specific countries or the US, specific dates, or dollars, Morgan dollars, peace dollars, okay? Objective is basically just to upload some nice coins uh, that I feel that will continue to increase in value and hopefully help you out. Uh, what we have here today is a coin from South Africa. Uh, this is an 1897 South Africa, two and a half shilling. Now, the 1897 is the last year they made this particular coin. This is graded NGC MS60. So this is, you know, a pretty good coin. It's a basic coin. Now, these coins continue to increase in value. Uh, I mean, a 60 is just, you know, so close to being circulated, but it is uncirculated by NGC standards. So it is an mid state 60. And uh, normally I like to get these coins, like I said, in 60 or better. MS-65 is extremely rare, so this particular date in MS-65 would run you probably $3,500, okay? So, they get very limited in MS-65 grade, okay? So, uh, if you're able to get one in, uh, in above ms 60s maybe a 63 is about a couple thousand dollars, definitely that's what you want to get. Uh, you can pick these coins raw which is amazing right now. So I'm able to pick up a few coins raw that I feel can grade 62 or 63, which I will show in my videos, uh, my later videos, okay, when I get these things set up. But meantime, I have this coin certified MS-60, so at least you get familiar with what an MS-60 grade looks like, okay? So this one here is a very nice, Last year, 1897, two and a half shilling. Uh, this is probably the, you know, larger than a half dollar, uh, but smaller than a dollar. Uh, very popular, uh, widely circulated. This one here has wonderful luster. The fields are exceptionally clean. The high point on this one here would be the beard, the eyebrow, the ear, the hair, and, and uh, of course, just below the eyes, you know, the cheekbone, okay? Uh, of course, you want to look at also the shoulder on this particular coin. So this one here is exceptionally very nice coin. Uh, so it's a nice MS-60 with nice field luster. And that is what you want to look for a coin. If you're able to pick a raw coin and it looks like this, by all means, you know, you might take a chance as long as the price is reasonable, okay? Normally... If you pick up a raw coin in, uh, in this condition, it could be just a couple of hundred dollars, okay? If you get it less than a hundred dollars, then you got yourself a good deal, okay? Take a look at the reverse. Uh, so this one here has a nice reverse to it also. Nice luster, uh, shilling. Uh, the highest point here would be the breast of the eagle. Okay, and of course, the center part there would be the first area of wear. Uh, the flags also, luster on the flags. Okay, so uh, so this is a very nice, lustrous coin. No major problems with this coin. Very appealing. Uh, so highly collectible by a lot of South African uh, collectors, British collectors. So this is very well collected. So there's a demand for this particular coin. Uh, 
very popular. Uh, so this grade here is getting harder to find in higher grades, but in the MS-60 or AU-58, it's pretty much available, okay, and, it can, and you can pick them up at a reasonable price. So again, if you're a collector of world coins, South Africa is a very popular coin. Uh, the series from 1892 till 1897 is widely collected. And these are their primary coins. And a lot of collectors do try to collect this, these coins at very high grade, but it's extremely rare uh, to get these coins in very high grade because they do get to be costly. Well, hopefully this information helps you out. And if you like collecting South African coins, I will be putting out more coins on South Africa and uh, at least give you an idea what coins to collect. And then watch my YouTube. My objective is 1,000 videos by this year. And hopefully with your support and your uh, subscribing to my channel, okay, I should be able to achieve those goals. And hopefully these videos will help you out and other collectors, either as either, you know, a starter collector or a, you know, advanced collector, okay? Check out the videos and hopefully you like what you see. And so please subscribe, it's free, it helps me out. It gives me the initiative to put videos up on YouTube uh, to help a lot of people, especially when I get a lot of comments. I do appreciate the comments and I'll try to answer each and every one of you when I am able to, okay? I do get a lot of comments right now with my latest videos. So till next time, take care and help me with my subscriber and increase my viewers. Till next time, have a great day.